idea that the time has come for us to find a return to the long-awaited episode in the series of the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge. It has been quite some time since the last time we did an episode on this series, and I am down to get spooked out by some of the things you guys deem as horror. Some might call this next statement Sixth Sense. Some might deem it a premonition. Inside my brain right now, I can see some pretty intimidating clips coming up, so you guys better be prepared. Immersion break. Hello! <clears throat> so what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to the next episode in the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge series. It has been some time since the last time we did one of these, as I've said about four times already. We stuck with the same formula that we usually do for this series. I went over to Twitter and I basically asked you guys to send across any scary clips that you guys have seen and think is gonna spook me out. We use the hashtag 8BitScary. We're gonna dive straight into this guys, like I don't know how I transition from this nice intro to scary clips. If you guys are down for this episode, I think you know exactly what to do, but let's get started and check out some with the scary clips you guys sent across. But I'd actually not get jump scared right there. I was expecting the thing to like do some bull crap. This is actually kind of intimidating. You guys can't tell. I've kind of built my walls up for the scare factor. Like nothing is scaring me today. That was just the taste that you guys got to get some more heat if you want to scare me. All right. I'm seeing some swings doing their thing like it might be a windy night, you know? Maybe they're getting some backdraft with the wind. This ain't too sp <laughs> <laughs> Is this how this video is about to go down? Just this? All right, Luca DiMarco, come on, please change this up. Without ado, here are six disturbing videos that can be found on the deep web. This is like a 12 second episode though. Okay, don't watch at night. <laughs> Woke up to this in the middle of the night. Thanks for the scare. Dang, that's actually- hold up. Oh my goodness. Literally observing this dude whilst he's taking his sleep. Uh, that is kind of creepy though. Come on, Carnage, come through for me, please. Okay, we got our first VHS. Chimpy Chippers. See, Chippers. Okay, Wait, lad, let's take this from the top. <clears throat> All right. Do you want to know what's driving everyone bananas? But, well, oh, on, I saw what you did there. Chippers. Hey! Enjoy a wide range of milkshakes, burgers, and fries, and we'll have you coming back for Ooh, more. I that was good. I knew as excited as Chip the uh, What the uh, heck? Uh, nah. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Bloody monkey, just... What's he... It, just, we're, we're gonna do it again. Just hold give up. me another go. From the top. Wait, hold up. Is it saying that the monkey that we saw here? I mean, to be fair, that is just disrespectful. Okay, let's see this again. This is take two. See chippers. So they do All this right, thing in one, one take. Are you serious though? Hold up, let's see. You Good luck, guys. Uh, hold up. I'm so hungry. You're literally an animatronic in a restaurant. Why aren't you eating food? Trapped here for so long. Starving. Don't think he's talking about fast food. I see you watching this. No, you don't. I'm hungry. And Chimpy Chippers and our iconic Chimpy uh, Cheeseburger. That, that looks, looks good, good though. though. So Damn, waiting okay, for? I'm hungry. Because Chipper, the chimp is yeah. waiting for you. Is he? F Look, what? I know you guys spend time on making Hold this on. monkey thing, but has no Ooh. one realized how fucking creepy it looks? <laughs> or is it just yeah. me? Because I can tell you right now, I hate I'd this never thing. take my daughter You speak whack about Chimpy? You should have recorded this and done it after. Uh, see Chipper's commercial. Is he? Ugh. This is actually kind of weird. He's sentient, all right. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, this is interesting. So you close it down? Ooh. Okay. I see that AIG-style adventure that thing tried to take us down. See, that's more like it. Like, it's not about 10-second clips where, you know, it's all peaceful and then... I kind of like it when we watch stuff that has tension that builds and you feel the fear almost throughout the entirety. It's not going to be that whole jump scare reaction thing. Don't know that's exactly what most of you guys want. Halloween Charlie says, got you last time. Let's see if I can do it again. Cover my back, right? Cover your back? What? This is a decrepit house. That's all I'm saying. Don't find out. Like, show the show the camera. I can't see it. What the? Dang, that dude was like seven foot tall 
soldier standing in the doorway. I kind of want to see that again. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. oh, that's actually creepy though. Like again, it's those feels. Oh, I don't like this. Whenever I see a ghost, I'm gonna say. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Can you imagine just like doing that urban exploring thing though in the dead of night, going into an abandoned house by choice, and then stumbling across something as bizarre as that? You gotta be on another level to even want to explore abandoned houses in the dark. That's why I'd never do that. Next up is a clip from Tanya. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. This is why you don't work the night shift. Why is the light in gr- <laughs> Tanya. You got me. What the freak is this? Wait, what happens when you drink the potion? After you drink it, you turn into Ligma. What's Ligma? <laughs> Ligma- <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> you see the grin emerge on his face the moment the lady asked what that means? Yeah, he knew he'd won that battle. What am I s- hold up. What the freak is this? I kind of have to watch. Guys, I don't want this game to be canon anymore. So what is <laughs> Felicity doing the trash? There's Pico and Boyfriend just chilling on the side. Oh, look at his face, man. What the heck? Who is- <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> hold up, hold up. Uh, what is happening though? That's actually terrifying. I'm not even kidding. The heck is that glowing? What the heck? Why is he playing? What? Um. Oh! Oh! What? That's horrible. Who the heck was that? Hang on a second. Let me pause. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Next up, Spring Civil Fox sent me a bizarre compilation of weird cursed videos, so I'm gonna check out one of the videos within this. The other door. Where? In the middle of the living room. <laughs> Wait, what? The roof is off. The Holy! Wait. Oh, Dude, oh my! Was no, that someone no. there? Hold on. I, I, I thought a person. Oh, I, I want to take that back. Hang on a second. Don't move in. Just don't move in. What the hell is that? Dude, Pac-Man in real life? I don't want to play anymore. That's disturbing. Student lab report. May 17th, 1999. Experiment. Special light. Uh, is this about to like instill some weird thoughts into my brain? Introduction. Light is a collection of photons that travel in a straight line. This is in a weird cursed compilation. I'm kind of interested to see how far this thing is going to descend. Protons are extremely small and move at the fastest speed in the universe. Facts. Okay. So what's this all got to do? However, photons can act both as a particle and as a wave. That's a nice looking sine wave if ever I've seen one, I'm just saying. Waves of light can have different frequencies, creating different colors. This feels like more of a science lesson. Hold on, I left school. I don't want to do this anymore. This experiment will focus on a special light that exists between wavelengths called spectral frequencies. Here we go. This is where it's going to start making you think ghosts exist and all weird kind of crap. Come on then, bring it to me, let's go. Procedures. I'm down. I'm down to check this out. The experiment is designed to test the effects of spectral frequencies on the human eye. Wait, so am I gonna see stuff then, is I trying to say? I guess I'm down. Uh, wait, I'm not a test though, I'm, I'm not a test subject. A test subject is placed in a sealed room with no lighting. Uh, guys, I think we just accidentally volunteered. A camera and a spectral frequency source are placed 1.5 meters from the subject. Okay, we're getting the setup then, so we can start to understand what's going down. The subject's pain receptors are primed with light electrical shocks. Okay, now this just doesn't sound too fair. Now we're on to the experiment. This is the part I'm most interested in. What do they do? Section one, electrical priming. The following images were taken in sequence during the electrical priming stage of the experiment. Okay, I got you. How is this gonna go down? Ah. Uh, ugh. What the heck? His face don't look good though. Oh. Oh my, his face is being altered. What the freak? What, what was that? What notes do you get? The subject experienced immense psychological trauma, though no physical damage was observed. Should you really be messing with this then? In that case? Like, if they're gonna keep experimenting and going deeper and deeper in, 
Exposure. I felt like they're going to take this to extreme. The following images were taken in sequence while the subject was exposed, so... This might be even more intense than the last lot of images we saw. Let's see. Same guy. Ugh. Oh my goodness. His face is getting all kinds of distorted. Like... You're gonna mess this man up! What the? Oh, I don't like this with the audio! Yo, what the heck did you do to him? Is the movement? Notes. What notes do you get from that? God is an illusion. What the heck? It's like... He saw something he shouldn't have when they put him under those experiments. This stack is making me feel all kinds of weird. Wait, what the heck? That's actually unnerving. For educational purposes only. Get out of here with that. Like, sure. Hold on, what's this? I don't know how you'll receive this message. But you need to wake up. Nothing is real. You are not who you think you are. What the? Who the freak is this man? I ain't him. No, no, no. I don't believe. You went missing on December 4th, 2003. Uh, okay. This is weird. This is actually making me get shivery. Oh, they took you. Ah! They are watching you. Oh, <laughs> this is weird. Don't go back to sleep, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired, though. I'm tired. What the heck? What about the one to sleep? I don't want- What? You said don't sleep again! How am I gonna wake up if I can't sleep again? How? Um... 80% of children have imaginary friends that are dead. What? Like... Listen, some things I don't need to know. I think that might have been one of them. Now, Brody has linked me Harmony and Horror. This is actually its own independent series created by Battington, another guy who is doing the whole VHS thing incredibly well. I'm gonna watch this thing and I'll see what you guys think. You know how we reacted to the Walton Files and we'll be also reacting to the future ones too? Maybe we can do it with this series too, so I'll see what you guys think. This one is called Happy New Friends. I don't know where this takes place in the Harmony and Horror storyline. I believe that's Perfect. what it's called. Yeah, we got it. But why am I getting a toy? Soon, Macy. Soon. Why Macy. Are you putting your camera in my room? Oh. Um, you got subtitles, bro? Um, hey, he does. Let's go. So, this well, guy's. Dad's not gonna. Dad's not gonna be here for a couple nights. So why are you setting up a camera? So while I'm away, Mom will sing Mom. you guys lullabies and. Tell you bedtime stories. You didn't answer yeah, the question about the camera. No, Dad's got a lot of work to do. Okay. So, Nothing bad about this gone, other than the camera, though. Like, still, we can get answers. Cameras to Here we go. Keep track of you guys. Okay. Make sure you guys are safe during the night. Guys, a tech nerd. I see. I see. So Dad's always going to be here. Okay. Making sure you guys are safe. Um, I don't think when the kids look at a camera, no they're thinking of your face, mom. dude. Don't say that! <laughs> Seriously! No. Ooh, quickly. He snapped the idea no. down, like. You can't come in with me to work. What's your work, huh, Pops? I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, sweetheart. You know he don't mean that. Come on. Let's get ready for bed. Cool. This one feels cool. This is like a little bit of real life, but you can see he's like using superimposed backgrounds. This looks promising now. Harmony toys! Let's get it! Yo, I want I want some harmony toys though. Where does the horror come in? Aha! Now I see. Oh. Uh, like literally, the subtitles are doing me though. Anyone want this toy? Uh, I don't got dude, I think your business might go out soon. Uh. The new magical Sophia is ready to play, ready to play, ready to play with you on any day. Dang, dude! The new Sophia <laughs> can really see with her magical green eyes. She can magical. watch everywhere you go. Now that's messed up. What about if I need to take a crap? Like, I got questions. I don't like this toy idea. 
Imagine like, hold up, hold up, let's take it back. Imagine if you were a kid and your parents bought you a toy and its eyes tracked you everywhere. Do you understand how many fears that would instill? I don't think this is a great toy to put towards kids. With Sophia's magical hearing, like, she can dance to any tune in the room, including okay. music that's 10 feet away. This She'll is getting, dance like, to it all night and day. Okay. Hey, look at her, that's throwing shapes. Great, cool. Like, I don't know if I'd want a toy that tracks my eyes and also dances to any kind of music that I do or play. This toy is cool Of course, concept, when you're alone, but... Sophia will sing to you with her magical voice whenever you- Oh, that creeped me out. Hi, pumpkin. How was school? Wait, who's this? Dot, dot, dot. No response? Did you make any new friends? Is this like the father talking to a girl named Sophia? Is she nice? And this is the toy. The heck? Yeah, she's made of plastic. She was alone like me. Is she a new toy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she says she'll be my friend. Well, that's pleasant. If I take her home with me. Okay, well, now not so great. Can she come home with us, mommy? What does she say? I don't know, sweetie. You know they're gonna give in. Please, I'll take care of her. Listen to mom. Give in. She needs me. Hold on, hold on. Now, no toy needs you. Please. This kid is adamant. Now, let's hear what the children have to say about magical Sophia. Uh, let's hear. <laughs> uh. What? I like the toy. <laughs> Why is she crying? It makes me happy. Oh, I'm this happy. is so. Ugh. I promise I won't run again. Oh. Please just fix my lips. Oh my god, this is actually a creepy one. Bro, you, why are you. My toy always makes me happy. You know these kids have been forced to say this. I love my new toy. No, you don't. Opposite this day. Toy makes me happy. Blink twice happy, if it's happy, a bad kid. Happy, 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 happy. Oh. Yeah, this is so messed up. <laughs> Who is that? Is that the girl? Close that door, slam it shut. Holy crap, that's so messed up. Oh man, nah. Get that doll out of my house. <laughs> Too late. Oh my. That better have been the little girl getting rid of that doll. That sounds awfully squidgy. Well, magical Sophia just can't oh, wait to go on a so with weird. you. But for now, we say good night. I hate this Good doll. night, Sophia. Don't talk. It just gets more messed up. Even in the dark, you see this thing following you. It's just fixated on the camera. What was that? Is it like something trapped within the toy? All the mechanical parts, like, freaking out. Everything. We're seeing the back rooms. Where are we, huh? Did she maybe escape? Was she, like, stored away? Maybe- Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like she must be escaping. Either that or she's enjoying low gravity. I think it might be a bit of both or something, guys. What is she doing? She's like banging on every single one of these like storage units. It's like she broke out and didn't know what to go or what to do. Look how confused she is. Like running between looking up at the doors. Like what the heck is this? This is... Oh, she likes what's in there. She likes what's in there. What's behind that door, huh? What do you know? Woo. And I think we can assume that's them breaking in. There you go. This is really cool. I like this a lot. What do you see, huh? Oh, the way it crawls in. It's like escape the Ayawaki. Hi, I'm Sophia. So oh, it's like a, a volatile from Would Dying Light. No, I don't play no games. I don't actually like games. Listen, I'm mature for my age. So, uh, what is that? Is that his chest? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so weird. What even is it? It looks like a human. This is uh, this is actually terrifying, man. <laughs> you close that storage unit and lock the door behind you. You don't let that thing ever out in public. Because if you do, anything that thing's gonna meet is already dead. And you know that. Uh, listen, no, I didn't I didn't mean to offend you or get up in your space. I really didn't. I was just Oh god. His mouth opened up. I think I need help. I think, I think I need help. Alright guys, well, we're gonna leave this episode here after all the stuff we checked out. Guys, thank you for sending across all the submissions. It felt like I only got to check out about 5% of the ones, but there was some real good stuff amongst everything. So thank you so much guys for sending stuff across. And my apologies if I missed anything. Battington series, however, has really sparked my interest. And I think at some point I am gonna follow up with another reaction watching most of the Harmony and Horror series because it looks like a cool universe. You guys really enjoyed the Walton Files when I reacted to that. And so definitely it's in my considerations, man. And no doubt we'll be back to that real soon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge, but that's pretty much it. That was the entirety of the video, and thank you guys for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy.